Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Keptech here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over how to troubleshoot Outlook using command line switches. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff, support yourself about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Really appreciate it. Okay, so today I want to go over how do you troubleshoot Outlook using command line run switches? What is that? I'm going to go over that right now. I'm going to show you what that is. Uh, typically, what we do is you run commands on the run feature on Windows 10 to troubleshoot Outlook issues. We don't just reinstall and uninstall, reinstall Outlook. You don't do that. So someone that's brand new to IT, what, are you, where you're, what I'm about to show you right now, it should help you out. If you're helping, if you're helping a client, you're helping a user, you're helping somebody that's having an Outlook issue, this is what you will do to fix those issues. And I am going to leave below in my description uh, all the commands you can run to troubleshoot Office 365 issues. So today's all about Outlook issues for Office 365 and why you will run these commands, okay? So let me share my screen with you real quick. So I'm gonna go screen one and I'm on screen one. So I, I already downloaded Office 365 and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna open up Outlook, right? This is the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Outlook and let it open, let it open. And I'm gonna show you all the commands. You, you Some of them, I'm not gonna show you all of them. I'm gonna show you some that you should be running on your on, on the computer if you're helping someone and that, uh, that it has an IT issue, that makes sense, okay? So mine is Kevin at kevtechitsupport.com. This is a real email address, by the way, uh, that, it, that, it log, that it logged me in. Um, and see my password, which is totally fine. I have to authenticate with my, with my thumb over here. Just give me a second. Just bear with me, approve. I put my thumb on my, my phone, my hand. Uh, this is my organization. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's fine. Allow me to log in. It's logging me in right now. Just bear with me. There's company policy. It's, we, I have I have a company policy set up. So, okay. Uh, okay, I'll make a pin. Uh, one, two, one, two. Next, and it should add my account on this computer right now. Uh, mobile phone, I already set up on my phone. Okay, should open up. So this is Office 365, by the way, in case you're wondering. What I'm showing you today is how to troubleshoot Outlook with an Office 365. It's gonna look a little different, but it should work. Um, and I have I have a bunch of mailboxes, by the way. I had like five of them, but I got rid of all of them. So. The first command I want to show you is how to open up in safe mode. But before I do that, let me go over here. Let me hit this little tab button right here. Um, and it should be, everything should be there, like how it's supposed to be. Okay. So the first command I want to show you how to run is the one for add-ins. So we have manage add-ins right over here. It takes you to the website, right? If you go to tools right over here, you have mailbox. Um, you go to options right over here there should be an add-in tab right over here. So sometimes what happens is in, in, in the IT world, uh, you have Outlook issues. And sometimes Outlook does not want to work for the living life of Outlook. <laughs> so to troubleshoot Outlook, what you do is you run it in safe mode. And then when you, you uncheck the add-in that's causing Outlook to crash, so that makes sense. So how do you do that? So basically what you do is you go to the start menu right over here, you type run, and you type outlook.exe space slash save, and you press enter. When you do that, it's gonna open up Outlook and safe when you hit okay. Uh, hit accept, right? Hit accept. It looks different. See how it looks a little wonky? Well, that's because it's opening, it opened it up in safe mode right now. That's why it looks a wonky. So then when you go into file, you go to options, you go to add-ins, you go to com add-ins, you just go here and uncheck the add, uncheck the add-in that's causing it to crash, so that makes sense. So usually if someone's having a weird issue on their computer, it's either an add-in or the out, their inbox is too big, or something got messed up on their computer. There's something not right on their computer, if that makes sense. But that, that's just, just one command. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different commands today. So that's one command. You see how the view settings looks different too? Like the, the settings and the view settings look really, really weird. It doesn't look the same. Now, now it goes back to normal, right? Now it's like, now it's actually normal now. Now it's like this. So when you run it in safe mode, it looks weird if you notice that. That's one command. The next command I'm gonna show you is another one, which is 
Just give me a second. I have a bunch of commands I want to show you. That's just one command. Um, I'm going to show you a different one. So I'm going to open up Outlook, right? I am going to right click over here. I'm going to put a category on it. So what are categories? You could put categories on your on your emails to a color that you want it to be. I created one already. It's called Kev emails and it's it's green. So when you work for an organization or you work for a company, some companies have a, a share mailbox. They have a share mailbox. And what they do is they, they share the mailboxes with each other. And typically what they do is they, they label it a certain color and maybe blue, maybe purple, maybe black, maybe whatever, right? Um, and then everyone has that same mailbox and that's how you know someone actually did it already. So what they do is they label it green and like, okay, so this guy did it already. Okay, so he labeled it green because it's done already. And then they, they put names on it. Like they put done, finish, um, publishing, they put whatever they want on it. Cause I worked in a, in a hedge fund where, uh, the company had a share mailbox and they had a bunch of colors on it. So sometimes you'll have issues where, where the, the, the colors are, are not working right. So the colors are all messed up. So the only way to fix that is by redownloading the whole share. It's a share mailbox. You have to re remove it and add it again. Um, you could do a lot, a lot of different things. I'm not going to go over that today. But there's this command you could run that really, really will help you out if, if you're trying to help someone with a share mailbox or a category, if that makes sense. So this is a, this is another command I'm going to show you now. So we'll hit run. So instead of putting safe, we are going to put clean categories. I'm going to hit OK. All right. Let's see if it opens. Give it a second. Have patience with Outlook. Outlook is one of those things that you got to have patience with it. And this is like a universal thing, by the way. So you see how... Um, I'm getting prompted for this a lot. See how it's completely gone? Like I labeled it green before, right? Now it's not there anymore. It got rid of all the categories on, on, on this Outlook client. That's basically what that command does. So if you have a, a, a category on Outlook, it immediately removes it, if that makes sense. So now if I actually open it up again, so let's just open it up again. It's still not there anymore. It got rid of, it got rid of all your categories. So if, if you want to go into... If you go into categories right over here, see, it's not even there anymore. It just cleaned out everything. You blew up the whole category section for them. So maybe that category is messed up and they have to redo it again. So this is a, another fix for someone. If you're trying to help someone with categories and colors, you could do that command. That's another command. Now I'm going to show you a different command. So there is one called for rules, right? So for example, we're going to do always move this conversation and we're going to do Always move this conversation. I'm going to make a, a new one. I'm going to call it uh, test, right? Hit OK. And I'm going to hit test. So always move this com. So there's a rule now. So rules are something that you something that you could you could always this is like a rule, the something that you could create. They could create a bunch of rules here. So you could always move. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you what, what the rules are. So I'm going to click the rules button right here. So there's a, there's a, there's a rule right here. It has an error message. It's, just, it's fine. Totally fine. I just ignore that. And basically what you could create a rule. So what a rule does is it allows you to um, move a certain email to a certain location. So like, if you want to, if you want a full, an email from someone, like I have Caesar right here, right? You want him to go to a different folder. You can make a rule for that. It goes to that specific folder. If that makes sense. But what happens in the IT world, sometimes the rules get corrupted. So, how do you fix that? You want to run clean, clean client rules. What is that? So basically what you do is you close out of Outlook. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's fine. It's giving me that message. It's totally fine. Um, you go into run again. So this is another command you can run. I'm giving you other commands. You so th these are things you will do if you're working IT with someone. You, you wouldn't recreate the whole profile. That's just crazy, right? So you run clean client rules. Starts Outlook and deletes the base rules on it. So when you, when you, hit, when you hit this... That folder will, will probably still be there, but the rules should be completely gone. Let's see if it's completely gone. So let's see. It's not there. See, it unchecked the rule. So that rule is no longer there anymore. It got rid of that rule. And then you could go ahead and remove that rule if you need to. So this is like troubleshooting rules because sometimes what happens is in IT world, you have issues where rules do not want to work for, for some odd reason. The rule gets corrupted and corrupts everything. So that's another example. That's another example of rules, okay? Give me a bunch of examples. I'm just going to delete this. I don't really care for this folder. Um, and FYI, if you ever want to rest like restore a folder, you can. You literally could just grab it and put it back on the inbox. That's basically we could in Office 365. If someone deletes their folder by accident, you could restore it and just drag it back here. Um, hit yes. 
and then it could just it just puts it back over here. So I'm not gonna go over like in depth today on folders, but that's basically you could actually restore the folder back. All right, so I'm gonna show you another command now. Let's just that's that's just another example of another command. So there's clean rules, clean client rules. Um, show you another one. I'm gonna show you one called clean views, clean view. So it's the view settings on on a on a computer or on a Outlook. So basically, what happens is someone wants someone likes the way this this, this someone likes the way this view looks, right? So I'm gonna remove focus inbox. Um, we're gonna go here. We have all these things over here. We're gonna hit send folder view. We're gonna we're gonna go to the reading pane right here, and we're gonna hit off, and and we're gonna hit. Uh, we'll leave it alone like this. To do bar off. So now it looks like that, right? So basically, what it is now. Um, if you want, if you if you want to save the way this view looks, this is a this is a view thing, by the way. So sometimes you get calls from Outlook from a client or a user or, or somebody. Yeah, I want you to remove the reading pane. Like I don't want the. I don't, I don't want the I don't want this to be on the right. I want you to remove it. So then you 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 turn it off. You turn it off, right? I don't want it to be here. I want it to be on the bottom. So then you put it on the bottom. So sometimes what happens is you have a client, you have someone you're working with, right? Um, I'm just gonna leave it off. If they have like a view setting right here, and you wanna you wanna save the you wanna save the way this looks, right? You you go to the left hand side right here, and you you hit save current view as new view. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna just save it. So you could you can save it right over here. So you hit save and you call it whatever you want. You could call it let's just call it Kevin over here and hit okay. So now that view setting is actually saved on Outlook. So what does that mean? So if you go to change view settings, it's right here. So it's right here. So if you go to compact, um, it does, you change it right over here. So if you if you ever want to go back to this view setting, you just click on Kevin right here. So it's basically a shortcut for your view settings. Why am I going over that? It's because I have a command for view settings. So if we're gonna close out Outlook again, we're gonna go back to run. Uh, I'm gonna open a run. And this is another one I'm gonna show you. It's gonna call, it's called clean views. Clean views restores default views for all custom views you create. You, all custom views you created are lost. But basically that view setting that I just created, it will be lost, but it, it just cleans out your view settings. Maybe your view setting got corrupted for some odd reason. So you run outlook.exe again. And you run clean views. It's another command you can run. So when you run that command, it's going to look different because you're just removing the view settings that you just created. That's what it's supposed to do if you're running this command. It's going to create, it's going to put it, get rid of all the view settings that you have. And how do you further confirm this? You go into view settings, you go into change view. It shouldn't even be there anymore. So the Kevin test one is not even there anymore. So, like I said, this is a view setting. So if you want to, if you ever want to help a customer or a client, and they have a certain view that they like, and they're a fan of that view, and you wanna you, you want them to you, you want them to be able to save it. You create a shortcut for them. This is what we just did. So, like I'm gonna turn this off again. I'm gonna turn off reading pane. I'm gonna leave it on like I'm gonna leave it like this. And I wanna save this view. Like I'm, I'm gonna go over it again. You hit save current view. We call it Kevin, and then it's there now. So now, if you ever um, Add a calendar on the right. And if you ever turn this bottom thing on again, and you want to go back to that view setting that you just created, you know, you could you could go ahead and change it, right? You go ahead and change that view setting to whatever you want. So there, there's like manage rules, save you, save views, you know, it's compact. There's different, there's this, there's different settings right over here, right? So this one's called Kevin View. See, it, it saves it. It saves the view settings for that specific thing that you just created. So that's basically what it is. It's a it's a view setting thing. So you hit reset views, it's going to get rid of all everything and they'll put it back to, to how it was originally. Um, it's like the, the original settings right over here. Let me turn that off. So I'm just showing you what you could do. So this is this is how it was before, right? So this is a Kevin setting right here. I just I just saved this view as a new view. So you could you could do that. You could save this view as a new view, like, like, like I told you. So that's basically what it is. I'm going to show you one more command and then we should be good for today with commands. Uh, let's see. One more command that I could show you, and I'm gonna leave all the commands below on my on my on my video at the end of this video. So you should be you should be in a better place. You won't be stressed out when you're helping a user or a client. So that's the purpose of today's video. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we'll do one more command. What's the other command we could do? Uh, okay, yeah, we'll do Outlook 
outlook.exe slash no preview. That's the command we're gonna run. So that 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 one is start outlook with reading pane off, which is kind of cool actually. So we're gonna run outlook.exe space slash no preview. And let's see what happens when we do that one. Starts outlook with reading pane off so that the reading pane is not gonna be on outlook at all. It's gonna be completely gone. That's the purpose of this command. And it is, it's completely gone. So that's pretty cool. That's another command you can run. Um, and let me go into view settings and go. This is the Kevin one, there's preview, there's Kevin. Um, like I said, you can move it to the right. If you wanna, if you wanna change it, you can change it entirely up to you. So it's basically like view settings of view settings. So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. It's just something that you may you you may want to, you know, maybe you wanna maybe you have all these weird issues you're help you're and you're helping a client or a user or somebody and you don't want to recreate the whole profile, right? You have all these commands you could run. Let me stop sharing for a second. You have all these commands you could run, right? And it's and these are commands that you could run if you're troubleshooting Outlook on someone's computer and then you know, you don't have to recreate the whole profile. That's just too much work, right? Well, why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. So I'll leave the commands below in, in the video, in my description, and then give them a go and hope them. hopefully that saves your life when you're trying to help somebody. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. This is more like to troubleshoot Outlook. You're having Outlook issues for someone that's, that, that is troubleshooting Outlook for someone else in an IT world, all right? With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and happy Easter. Take care. Peace.